you can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. There's a lot of meetings that Black Adam uh, fans are going to be seeing in the movie with the Justice Society of America as well. How does Black Adam feel about the Justice Society? Black Adam feels like this about the Justice Society. You're on his radar. If you come to Kondok, again, I will kill you all. The Justice Society, you know, was the first you know, group of uh, superheroes ever created in the DC world and somehow they were bypassed and now we're introducing them in this movie and we just wanted to have a mixture of the, the experienced as in Hawkman and Fate with the newbies, Atom Smasher and Cyclone and that's how we wanted to create a war dynamic in which you had two very experienced characters trying to teach the ropes to the young ones and in this way you would learn about them through their actions. You know, but for me it has been an honor to introduce those characters to the big screen, designing their costumes. Uh, I know they're so beloved by the comic fans that uh, it's a privilege and an honor to be part of, of the history of, of these characters. You believe you are not worthy. What do you think that Cyclone brings to the table as part of the team that is fresh for a DC movie? Mm, I think she's like really quirky and like just really different. And I think her perspectives are, you know, well, this is what's happening in the world and this is what we have the power to do. So does it mean that we utilize our powers in the way that we do? Or are we able to like actually aid rather than cause like destruction, you know? And so I think like that's the big premise around the whole movie too, is like who has the power to liberate who? And so I think those are like questions that, you know, she has and also that she has with um, Adam Smasher as well. In the comics, Adam Smasher takes a liking to Black Adam because he encourages this sort of brutal sense of justice and vengeance in him. How does that relationship play in? Totally, totally. Well, you know, I think that's, what I, that's, that's one of the dynamics between Cyclone uh, Cyclone's character, Maxine, and, and Adam Smasher's Albert. Um, they take, they bring two very different, but fresh perspectives to the ethos that is Black Adam's morality, right? Which which we know is, is a bit darker than usual, um, and uh, it definitely plays in the film. On, dude. Uh, and we also see Adam Smasher go giant in the trailer. Uh, can you explain how his powers work in the movie and if they're different than the comics at all? They're pretty much exactly how they work. It's like pretty, yeah, it's very parallel. He can control his molecular biology, so he can make his bones uh, denser and denser. And uh, if, you, if you've read the, if you've read the, uh, the comic books, then you then you know the, what it takes for him to grow. And, uh, and that's not actually not touched on in the film. In the comics, Hawkman and Black Adam really don't get along. Uh, what is their dynamic like in this movie? Is that, is that similar? Does that hold? Oh yeah, they go at it. Um, they definitely go at it. Oddly enough, because of the savagery of their warriordom, um, they kind of understand each other to some point. Even though they are greatly, you know, on opposite sides of the uh, of the coin. Um, I think there's a kinship there, at least an understanding and a subtle respect. They don't like each other at all, but they go at it, and trust me, it's fun. 